ஒவ்வொருஷன் <laughs> ஸோ ஒரு சொல்யூஷனில் எவ்வளோ பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ் ப்ரெசென்ட் ஆகிருக்கு அந்த நம்பர் ஆஃப் பார்ட்டிகல்ஸை டிபெண்ட் பண்ணி ஒரு சொல்யூஷனோட ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸை நம்ம ஸ்டடி பண்ணுறது என்னது காலிகேட்டிவ் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் ஸோ ஜென்ரலி த ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் த சொல்யூஷன் விச் இட் டிபெண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் த நேச்சர் ஆஃப் சொல்யூட் பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ் ப்ரெசென்ட் இன் த சொல்யூஷன் ஸோ ஜென்ரலாக ஒரு சொல்யூஷனோட ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் அப்படிங்கிறது அதில் ப்ரெசென்ட் ஆகிருக்கூட சொல்யூ சொல்யூட் பார்ட்டிகளோட நேச்சரை டிபெண்ட் பண்ணி ப்ரெசென்ட் ஆகிருக்கும் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் வி கன்சிடர் த சால்வெண்ட் ஆஸ் வாட்டர் வாட்டர் சால்வெண்ட்டை கன்சிடர் பண்ணலாம் for this solvent if we are adding the solute as sugar particle so solute solute nam enna add pandrom sugar particle add pandrom then the solution the taste of the solution is sweetness so the so- solution is made by the solute and solvent for example the solvent is considered as a water to that water we are adding the solute as sugar then the taste of the solution is sweetness so instead of sugar we are adding the salt to the water so the solute is a salt when the salt is added to the water then the taste of the solution will be changed to saltiness so saltiness are change agudhu now the properties of the solution which depends on the nature of the solute particle it may be the sugar or salt appo or solution oda properties abingiradhu edha depend pani irukku nature of the solute particle depend pani irukku so for the general solution but so some of the properties which depends on the number of particles present in the solution so those properties are called colligative properties for example four properties four colligative properties are present which depends on the number of particles present in the solution so the four colligative properties are relative lowering of vapor pressure the second one is depression in freezing point then the third one is elevation of boiling point and fourth one is osmotic pressure so those four properties are known as colligative properties and those properties which depends on the number of particles present in the solution so in the solution la evlo particles present a irukku and does not depend on the nature of the solute particles those four properties are called colligative properties so the colligative properties which plays an important role in many of the experimental conditions so and, and spe- especially the osmotic pressure plays a vital vital role in the number of experiments biological experiments okay so the first relative uh, first colligative properties relative lowering of vapor pressure so those colligative properties are used to determine the molar mass of the solute so in the colligative properties ellame eduk use aagudhu appadina or solute particle oda molar mass calculate pandradhukaga use pandrom so the first colligative properties relative lowering of vapor pressure so already the relative lowering of vapor pressure is studied in the raoult's law so last class la nam raoult's law la relative lowering of vapor pressure study pandradha pathi nam paathirukom so the relative lowering of vapor pressure so initially before we studying the relative lowering of vapor pressure we recall the vapor pressure so vapor pressure pathi modala therinjikalam so vapor pressure is already studied in the solution the solution state ingra oru idhile nama paathirukom so how the vapor pressure is produced so the liquid so the liquid has a tendency to escape from the liquid state so liquid is a very important tendency irukku that is a escaping tendency due to its kinetic behavior so the liquid molecules oda kinetic behavior nala it possesses the escaping tendency from the liquid state to vapor state appa liquid state la nandu vapor state a convert aagudi tendency present a irukku so for what is the reason for that due to its kinetic behavior adoda kinetic behavior nala if it is a closed container the liquid molecules will escaped as a vapor and it collide with each other and also collide with the walls of the container it condensed as a liquid appa vapors are convert agudhu again collision undergo pani it enna change agudhu it will be converted to an liquid so now the condensation and evaporation also are in equilibrium condition condensation and evaporation also are in equilibrium condition equilibrium condition la present a irukum so the liquid is converted to an vapor the vapor produces the pressure on its own liquid surface so the liquid has a tendency to convert as a vapor so the liquid enna va convert agudhu vapor a convert agudhu so vapor 
is produces the particular pressure on its own liquid surface adoda liquid surface meleye produce panakudiya pressure da nam enna solluvom vapor pressure that means the liquid and vapor are in equilibrium condition liquid and vapor ena condition la irukku equilibrium condition la present aayiru okay va so the vapor pressure of your solution containing a non volatile non electrolyte is always lower than the vapor pressure of the pure solvent so appo nam consider panad enadhu for a pure solvent the liquid and vapor are in equilibrium the liquid and vapor are in equilibrium equilibrium la present aayirukum but to the pure solvent we are adding the non volatile solute so non volatile solute add pannumbod so non volatile so it means it does not evaporated as an vapor vapor a convert aagadhu that means the non volatile solute particle is present only in the solution and the surface of the solution which contains the solvent and also the solute particles so vapor pressure na initially venna solirukom the vapor produces the pressure on its own liquid surface adoda own liquid surface mele produce panna kudiya pressure na vapor pressure but by adding the non volatile solute the solution which contains the non volatile solute particles on its surface so and the solution oda surface la enna present a irukum solvent molecule um present a irukum in addition to that a number of non volatile solute particles also present so that the vapor pressure will be lowered by adding the non volatile solute compare with the pure solvent so pure solvent plus liquid or surface full away irukum solvent molecule mattume present a irukum so vapor pressure will be more but solute particle add panum bodu non volatile solute add panum bodu the surface of the solution which consists the solvent and solute particle so that the vapor pressure of the solution will be lowered than the pure solvent so now by now by using the relative lowering of vapor pressure we calculate the molar mass of the solute so solute oda molar mass ah nama calculate panna porom so before that one of the experimental condition is given okay va so so before that one of the experimental condition is given so in the one of the experimental condition la enna kuduthirukanga for pure solvent the liquid and vapor are in equilibrium so it del g is equal to zero that means the gibbs free energy value is equal to zero so the gibbs free energy and thermodynamic uh, gibbs free energy and entropy enthalpy those are the thermodynamic functions so the thermodynamic functions ela or lesson namak thaniya separate ave thermodynamics ing lesson la kuduthirukom so free energy is given by the sign of g free energy ing endha symbol la kudupom g ing symbol la kudupom so the gibbs free energy for the case of pure solvent when it is attained the liquid and vapor are in equilibrium the del g value is equal to zero so normal free energy is given by the sign of g so the changes in their free energy is given by del g so g ingiradhu enadhu gibbs free energy adhe adhil irukkudiya changes nam enna solluvom del g nu kudupom so when the for the pure solvent the liquid and its vapor phase are in equilibrium its del g value is equal to zero so free energy means the energy the available energy to do some work so evlo and the energy use panni evlo work pannalam evlo energy utilize panni irukum that energy is given by the free energy appdin solluvom okay va so the free energy change value enna va irukum equal to zero va irukum for pure solvent for the pure to that pure solvent we are adding the solute when the solute is started to dissolving in that solution the free energy value will be decreases our free energy value del g value enna aarambikudhu decrease agudhu because the entropy value increases so free energy entropy enthalpy those are the thermodynamic functions to explain the spontaneity of the reaction so the spontaneity of the reaction the thermodynamic functions they ellame enna thermodynamics lesson la paakalam so here you simply know that g is a free energy free energy means the available energy to do some work so evlo energy nam work a convert panna mudiyum that is a free energy the second thermodynamic function here we used as entropy so entropy is given by the sign of yes so entropy means randomness of the system randomness of a molecule in a system so randomness means disorderness irregularity ஒரு சிஸ்டத்தில் ப்ரெசென்ட் ஆகிருக்க மாலிக்கலோட இர்ரெகுலாரிட்டி டிசார்டர்னஸ் இதை தான் நம்ம என்னென்னு சொல்கிறோம் ரேண்டம்னஸ் அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறோம் ஓகேவா ஸோ த ரேண்டம்னஸ் வில் பி இன்க்ரீசஸ் பை ஆடிங் த சொல்யூட் டு த சால்வென்ட் 
ஸோ ஒரு பியோர் சால்வெண்ட்டில் சொல்யூட் பார்ட்டிகிள்ஸை ஆட் பண்ணும்போது ஒரு ரேண்டம்னஸ் என்ன ஆரம்பிக்குது டிக்ரீஸ் ஆக ஆரம்பிக்குது ஓகேவா ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் த அது பியோர் சால்வெண்ட் விச் கன்சிஸ் ஒன்லி த டென் மாலிகூல்ஸ் ப்ரெசென்ட் இந்த பியோர் சால்வெண்ட் டென் மாலிகூல்ஸ் மட்டும் பியோர் சால்வெண்ட்டில் ப்ரெசென்ட் ஆகும் பட் பை ஆடிங் த சொல்யூட் பார்ட்டிகிள்ஸ் டு த சால்வெண்ட் சொல்யூட் பார்ட்டிகுலர் சால்வெண்ட்டில் ஆட் பண்ணும்போது த நம்பர் ஆஃப் பார்ட்டிகிள்ஸ் வில் பி இன்க்ரீஸஸ் இப்போ நம்பர் ஆஃப் பார்ட்டிகிள்ஸ் வில் பி இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆகுது அப்படின்னாவே ரேண்டம்னஸ் என்ன ஆரம்பிக்கும் இன்க்ரீஸ் ஆக ஆரம்பிக்கும் so to increase in the number of particles in the solution the randomness increases that means del s value entropy increases due to increase in their entropy the free energy value will be decreases for the solution appo the liquid state la solution la free energy value enna agudhu decrease aa aarambikudhu but for pure solvent liquid and vapor are in equilibrium so del g value is equal to zero So, in order to maintain the equilibrium, now in the case, we will add a solvent to the solvent. We will add a solution to the solvent. Free energy decrease. Agad. Solution, liquid state, la free energy agad, decrease. Agad. So, to maintain the equilibrium, the free energy of the vapor phase will also decrease. So, free energy of the solution decrease agad, by adding the solute particle. If we maintain the equilibrium, the vapor phase of free energy agad, decrease. Agad. because before that for pure solvent del g value is equal to zero that means free energy for the liquid and vapor are in equal equal liquid oda free energy um vapor oda free energy enna varundha equal ah irundhu so del g value is zero eduthutaach but in the case la enna pandrom solute add pandrom so free energy decreases for the solution so to maintain the equilibrium the free energy will be reduced for the vapor phase vapor phase lum free energy enna pannum decrease pannum so only one possibility to reduce the free energy in the vapor phase by reduces its pressure appo free energy anga decrease pannano vapor phase la free energy decrease pannano appadina adoda pressure reduce pannum bodu mattum dhan free energy ena pannalam decrease pannalam so the i already we know that the relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to the mole fraction of the solute is equal to the mole fraction of the solute it is studied by using raoul's law so raoul's law we use pani nama study panirukom so by using this relative lowering of vapor pressure we determine the molar mass of the solute molar mass of the solute solute oda molar mass nama calculate pandrom so the relative lowering of vapor pressure eppadi kudukalam p not solvent minus p solution by p not solvent is equal to xb so p not so the not which indicates in its pure state that mean the solvent is in pure state so p is the vapor pressure so vapor pressure of the pure solvent minus vapor pressure of the solution by vapor pressure of the pure solvent is equal to xb so x is the mole fraction of the solute x ngadhe nadu mole fraction of the solute so the p not solvent minus p solution by p not solvent is known as the relative lowering of vapor pressure so in the left side left hand side la irukku in the formula edhuk equal a irukku relative lowering of vapor pressure so the relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to the mole fraction of the solute is equal to the mole fraction of the solute so now we know the mole fraction of the solute xb so b ingiradhu solute a ingiradhu enadhu solvent so xb is equal to so before we knowing the b so idhu b ingiradhu munadi generally x mole fraction eppadi define pannalam number of moles of the component by total number of moles present in the solution so the solution is made by the solute and solvent solute and solvent appo the solute enna eduthukom b enna eduthukom solvent enna eduthukom a enna eduthukom so the component it may be the solute or solvent so here we taken as a b solute so mole fraction of the solute xb is equal to number of moles of the solute so nb number of moles enna symbol la kudupom n ingra symbol la kudupom so number of moles of the solute nb by number of mole total number of moles so total number of moles present in the solution means which is equal to the sum of the number of moles of component a and number of moles of component b so xb is equal to nb by na plus nb so generally the number of moles of solvent is always greater than the number of moles of the solute because the solvent is always taken in large excess compared with the solute particle solute oda compare pannumbodhu solvent number of moles epdi epdi irukum solvent excess ah dhaan eduthukum so that the number of moles of solvent is always greater than the number of moles of the solute so the total number of moles present in the solution is almost equal to the number of moles of the solvent number of moles of the solvent ku equal ah irukum so xb is equal to 
n b by that n a plus n b is almost equal to n a. So n b by n a. Next, the number of moles can be formula. Number of moles n is equal to weight of the component by its molar mass. Upon number of moles of the solvent n a is equal to weight of the solvent a w a by molar mass of the solvent a. So in the same way, number of moles of the solute. So n b is equal to weight of the solute b by molar mass of the solute m b w b by m b. So now the mole fraction, mole fraction of the solute x b is equal to the n b is replaced by w b by m b by n a is replaced by w a by m a. So now that x b is equal to the relative lowering of vapor pressure. So in the XB equal line, the P naught solvent minus P solution by P naught solvent is equal to WB into WB by, so in that line, the denominator is MA, the numerator is equal to So WB into MA by WA into MB. So the difference in their vapor pressure of the solvent and solution. So vapor pressure is the P in the sign. So the difference changes in the sign. Tell the sign. So the difference in the vapor pressure of the solvent and solution is given by del P by P not A. So solvent is considered as a A. P not A is equal to WB into MA by WA into MB. So W being the weight of the solute, MA is the molar mass of solvent, WA is the weight of the solvent, MB is the molar mass of the solute. By using this expression, we calculate the molar mass of the solute MB by using relative lowering of vapor pressure. So by using this relative lowering of vapor pressure, we, we solve uh, two problems. For example, an aqueous solution of 2% non-volatile solute exerts a pressure of 1.004 bar at the boiling point of the solvent. So what is the molar mass of the solute when P naught A is 1.013 bar? Okay, wow. so what is the molar mass of the solute? Molar mass, get it. So, if we find out and determine the formula, we can find out the formula. Del P by P naught A is equal to WB into MA by WA into MB. So before we apply the formula, we know first the weight of the solute and weight of the solvent and what is the solute and what is the solvent. So from the question, 2% non-volatile solute, 2% non-volatile solute. So in a 2 percentage, so percentage means around 100. So within 100, 2 percent is a solute. Up 100, 2 percent is a solute particle present. So now the weight of the solute is considered as 2 gram. Up 100 gram, 2 gram is a solute particle present. Up remaining 98 percent is a solvent present. But the solvent is not indicated in the question. So solvent is specific. But one of the clue is given. An aqueous solution of 2% non-volatile solute. So aqueous solution means the solvent is must be a water. So solvent water are the solution amenant solvo. Aqueous solution is solvo. So the weight of the solvent is 98 gram. The weight of the solute 2 gram abdina. Weight of the solvent 98 gram. Weight of the solvent another 98 gram. Okay, now we have del P. So del P is P naught solvent minus P P solution. So the solvent of um, molar mass, the solvent of vapor pressure, the vapor pressure of the solvent is 1.013 bar minus the vapor pressure of the solution is 1.004. So the minus we get the del P value as 0 0.009 bar. So next one, by using this formula we calculate the molar mass of the solute mb is equal to molar mass of the solute and the mb is equal to the formula change out yeah by mb in left hand side position left hand side like del p and p naught a is come to the right hand side by mb is equal to p naught a left hand side like a denominator like the numerator wrong p naught a into wb into ya ma by del p into wa so left side del P numerator la present irk. When it move to the right hand side, come to the denominator. So P naught yengar the vapor pressure of pure solvent. That is 1.013 bar. 1.013. 
and WB is the weight of the solute. Weight of the solute is 2 gram. So, 2 into M is the molar mass of the solvent. So, here the solvent is water. Aqua solution so the solvent is water. Water are present. So, the molar mass of water is 18 gram. Molar mass of water is 18 gram. So, 2 into 18 into 1.013 by 98. Del P is the Changes in their pressure that is 0 0.009 bar. 0 0.009 into <coughs> W is the weight of solvent. So, weight of solvent is 98. But MB is equal to 41 point. The total factor number simply MB is equal to molar mass of the solute. That is 41.35 gram mole inverse. So, the next one is evaluate. So, the vapor pressure of Pure liquid A is 10 tar. So, in the first sum, 1 bar. So, this is the different units of pressure. So, bar is one of the unit of pressure. So, in the sum, we use 10 tar. So, tar is one of the unit of pressure. So, the vapor pressure of the pure liquid A is 10 tar at 27 degrees Celsius. So, the vapor pressure is lowered to 9 tar on dissolving 1 gram of B in 20, in 20 gram of A. Okay, wow. so, what do you think? 1 gram of B is dissolved in 20 gram of A. So, A is the solvent and B is the solute. So, let A is the weight of 20 gram of A and weight of B is the weight of B is 1 gram. If the molar mass of A is 200 gram mole inverse, solvent or molar mass of 200 gram mole inverse, then calculate the molar mass of B. Then calculate the molar mass of B. So, you to the molar mass. So, the P naught A. So, P naught is pure state. So, the solvent in its pure state, its vapor pressure is 10 tar. The vapor pressure of pure liquid A. A is the solvent. So, the solvent to the vapor pressure will be 10 tar. And pressure of the solution. So, solution which is made by the solute and solvent. So, now we are adding 1 gram of B. That means solute in 20 gram of A. So, solute add one. The vapor pressure will be lowered to 9 tar. So, pressure of the solution is 9 tar. And weight of Solvent. So, weight of solvent in group on WA is 20 gram. 1 gram B is dissolved in 20 gram of A. So, weight of solvent is 20 gram and weight of solute is 1 gram and the molar mass of solvent is given as 200 gram mole inverse. So, then what is the molar mass of the solute? So, next we are applying in the formula del P by P naught A is equal to WB into MA by WA into MB. So, del being the changes in their pressure in its pure state minus solution state. But pure state P naught A would value another 10 tar minus P solution would value another 9. But 10 minus 9 is equal to 1 tar. Then molar mass of the solute MB is equal to MB to n at the clam. So P naught A WB into MA by WA into del P. So P naught A would value another 10 into WB would value the weight of the solute 1 gram and M younger than the molar mass of the solute is given as 200 gram mole inverse by WA weight of the solvent is given as 20 gram into so 1 del P would value in the 1 tar. So the total factor simply the molar mass of the solute is calculated as 100 gram mole inverse 100 gram mole inverse. So, by using the relative lowering of vapor pressure, we calculate the molar mass of the solute.